Hi guys, and welcome to this video about the Fender Bright Cat mod. I've spent a long time playing Fender amps, and I've always really struggled with the bright switch. When they're turned off, the amp can sound a little bit dark, but when you turn them on, things can get really fizzy, especially with overdrive pedals. It took me a long time before I figured out, why not just change the bright cap value? Once I figured out it was a pretty easy mod to do, it really transformed the bright switch from a completely useless thing into a really handy tone shaping tool. So before you even think about doing this mod, please, make sure you're clued up on amp safety. These things contain lethal voltages, and if you touch the wrong thing, you're probably gonna die. So please, if you're like me, a cack-handed moron, just take it to an amp tech. They can even add cool stuff like a three-way switch so you can change between different values. Anyway, let's explore the Fender Break app. So the bright cap is located on the volume pot of each channel on any kind of blackface Fender amp. It's essentially a treble bleed in reverse. It adds high end when the volume pot is rolled low, and it takes less effect as the volume pot is increased, becoming almost inaudible as it gets up to like 6 or 7. If you're unsure where the bright cap is in your amp, either check the schematic or just google it. On amps like Super Reverbs, Basements, Twins, or any black or brown face Fender amp, it's normally a 120 PF cap value, and all you need to do to make it more usable is to change it to a lower value. In my Super Reverb, I've changed the one on the vibrato channel to a 47 PF cap, and this is pretty much what you find in the bright channel of a deluxe reverb. Depending on how subtle a change you want, you can go even lower, it's really up to you. So for this demo I'm going to be using the normal channel of my Super Reverb to demonstrate a stock cap and I'll be using that to compare with the Vibrato channel, which has a deluxe reverb spec cap. So, let's hear how it sounds. So as you can hear, it does make quite a big difference to the tone. If you use uncompressed overdrives like my Barber, 
or if you have an OCD or a blues driver, you can very quickly find yourself getting into fizzy overdrive territory. Which is really easy to do on a Fender amp, especially if you like the sound of bright switches for your cleans. Once you know that these small component changes make a massive difference to your tone, you can really tweak your amplifier and fine tune it to get that tone that's in your head. There really is an endless list of things you can do to your amps to get them sounding the way you want them to. But please, if you've never opened up an amplifier before and you fancy giving it a shot, do your research. Because these things can kill you. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please like and subscribe. There's always new videos coming in, and I'll see you next time.